think God, he, he never changed. Though the weather might change, our feelings might change, but God never changed. Amen? He, he's, he always loves us. He always cares for us. And He always prepare a good plan for you and for me. Can you hear? Amen! Amen for that. Praise God. The title of this message is all about the true worship. For, from the book of John chapter 4 verse 24, it says, God is a spirit and his worshipers must worship in his spirit and in truth. We know that, yes, God is a spirit and we must worship him in his spirit. And we as his children, we need to enter in into his spirit. Amen? While we are worshiping a while ago, I really sense and I really smell the smell of a fresh fried fish. Do you smell that? <laughs> oh, ako lang nakaka-smell. Wala namang fish dito na niluluto. Walang ring restaurant na malapit na para pumasok ang amoy. But I really smell that, that smell. Kanina, after the Tagalog service, after that service, I enter in the office and then I just for just a while. And then I just rested in the presence of God. And then the Lord awakened me with that smell. And when I, got, when I go outside here in the sanctuary, I still smell that smell. And I asked the Lord, why, Lord? Why that smell is still here? I know they don't smell that smell. Only me smell that. And the Lord impressed to my heart. I want you, he said, I want you to give a fresh food today. A fresh one. Yung bagong luto. Hindi yung tera-tera kagabi. Kapag bagong luto ang pagkain, sanay po kami kumain ng bagong luto. Ang tatay ko kasi, meron siyang kasabihan sa sarili niya nung ako'y bata pa. Kapag daw lamig na, hindi daw pwede sa mga anak niya. Kasi daw tataba kami. Eh nung nawala na siya, <laughs> mga lamig din iniinit namin, kaya nakakataba talaga pala. Pero isang bagay ang sinasabi niya. Ang sabi niya, huwag kang kumain ng lamig kasi sasakit ang tiyan mo. Kailangan mong initin. Pero higit na mas masarap kaysa dun sa ininit na pagkain sa pagkain kahapon, mas higit na masarap ang pagkain bagong luto. Yung fresh, fresh pakbet, yeah? At na may kasabang fried fish, wow! Yata kayo wow eh. Okay, busog pa ba kayo? But I want you to see things in the spiritual realm. That God wants to give a fresh food from heaven. He wants, He always prepare a food for you and for me. Every time we gather here, kung ikaw ay first timer ngayon, maybe you are just wondering why that what that lady is talking about. I want you to understand this. The Lord always wants the very best for you. Very best. If you are thinking your best for your family, the Lord is much better thinking for your family. for your loved ones, especially for yourself. And I want you to see in the spiritual realm that the Lord is alive. He is living. And, and He always, always looking at our hearts, saying that, I love you, my son. I love you, my daughter. You are special to me. And that's the Lord always talking to us. He always expressed that love relationship to us. And how about us? What is our response? What is your response to his invitation? I remember his invitation, what he said from the New Testament. Come, dine with me. And those people who knows 
the meaning of that word. The word come and dine with me. Eat with me. The meaning of that invitation is to be one with Christ. To agree to his promises. To walk according to his will. According to his statutes. He is the one who always calling us. Him first who loves us. And today, how do we worship God in his spirit? How do we worship God in, his, in truth as well? We will focus today in truth. Okay? Because the Lord is a God, the God who, 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 made, who, who made the heaven and earth, and he is the most powerful God. And I know every one of you would agree that yes, God is most powerful God, and he is his spirit, and we must worship him in his spirit. But sometimes we stop there. We stop in the spirit because we are human. We, we have flesh. That's why it is hard for us. It is so difficult for us sometimes to see God in the spiritual realm. But I want you to see with an eyes of faith, by the help of the Holy Spirit today, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we must walk with him. Amen? But of the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verses 1 to 11, my first point is this, that true worship will always require humility. Okay? Humility always comes from the heart, from the mind, from our all being. We need to really think the way God thinks. As his create as he created us. He is our creator. And we need to look on Jesus every day, every second, every minute. Amen. Philippians chapter 2 verses 11 1 to 11 says, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if you have any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tend tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in the Spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Value others above yourselves. Here, there, there is a meaningful word that we, we have heard. It says here, from verse 2, Then make my joy complete. Jesus is speaking. Here. Yeah. Make my joy complete. Why is he says that word? Make my joy complete. Gawin mong kompleto ang aking kagalakan. That's a sweet word, right? When someone, when someone whom you loved say that word, gawin, <laughs> make my joy complete. Isn't it na sobrang mapapagapagang yung puso? Ano ba yung gagawin ko para ikaw ay masiyahan? Di ba tutuklasin mo ano yon? Ano yung mga dapat mong gawin? And uh, the word of God tells here, na sabi, sa pamamagitan, being one, I am here on verse 2, being one in the spirit and of one mind. And that's the prayer of Jesus also. Before na siya po ay umakat sa heaven, yun yung prayer niya, na ang sabi niya, make these people na tinalaga mo, pinagkatiwala mo sa akin, ay maging isa katulad ng tayo, ama ko, tayo na iisa. Ang Heavenly Father yung kausap ni Jesus. And He is asking, na sinasabi niya, gawin mo kaming iisa, gawin mo kaming iisang puso, iisang layunin, upang sila ay patuloy at magpatuloy na sa akin ay sumunod at patuloy na luwalhatiin ang iyong pangalan. So yun yung heart desire ni Jesus. Heart desire of the Lord Jesus nung bago siya umakat sa langit na kung saan sinabi niya yun at prayer niya yun. 
na bago siya ipako sa krus, na bago siya mahirapan. Yun yung kanyang heart desire. At kung saan, na sinabi niya na dapat tayo magkaisa. You know, true worship always required humility. And that's the meaning of worship. I want you to see that with an eyes of faith. That worship, the true worship, it means being humble before God. Being humble before God means aligning yourself to the will of God. Putting your, placing your, your, your self To the place of the Lord, nasasabihin mo, yes, Lord, I agree to your promises. You know what? The Lord always do what He says He will do if we will act like that His word is true. He will do it instantly. If you are sick today, instantly the Lord can heal you. If you are Heartbreak, your heart is so breaking, is so, you know, there's lots of words there. If you ask the Lord, Lord, help me with this, and I release this down at your feet, instantly the Lord will give you peace. Though yung tiwala ay pinupuhunanan, pero ang kalayaan mula sa hurts and bitterness ay pwede ngayon na yun. That is faith. Faith is today. And I want you to hear the voice of God today. He wants you to have freedom. And He wants you to walk in peace, in unity with the Holy Spirit. And that's what Philippians is talking about. He is talking about being one in Christ and being one with your brethren. To understand your brethren, the way God, that Jesus understands you. To love your brethren the way Jesus has loved you. The way Jesus has loved me. Amen? So, sabihin mo, are you fanatic, pastora? Are you really, really, really na sobrang ikaw ay matiising sobra? I want you to know this. That's one of the fruit of the Spirit. Patient. Long suffering. Amen? And we need to understand that as we, the, the, the more we understand that Jesus really prepare and provide a way for us to escape from hurts and bitterness. He always provide a way to escape. Ayaw niyang manatili ka doon. Ayaw niyang manatili ako doon. Ayaw niya na tayo ay araw-araw, habawat gabi, bago matulog, pagkagising, na ang minimeditate ay yung sama ng loob. Na ang minimeditate ay yung tinatawag na, na mga sakit. Ako po ay nakaranas ng iba't ibang sakit sa buhay. Sakit na damdamin ko na anong sakit. Subalit, the Lord showed me a picture na ang mga sakit na yon ay pwedeng gumaling. There, yes, there is a process. But in the Lord Jesus, instantly, we can receive healing from the throne of His grace. Amen. Give Him praise. Come on. <laughs> praise Him. Praise Him. Verse 3, it says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Verse 4, not looking for your own interest, but it's of you to the interest of the others. Talagang, ikaw nga ay martir, pastora. But that, that, that's not me. That's the word of God telling us. Amen. In your relationship, verse 5, with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being is very much nature God, did not consider equally with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing 
by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in the appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Here we can see the real heart of a servant. The real heart of being selfless. You know, the, Lord, the, the plan of the Lord for us is to be content. But, one thing, na sinasabi niya, isang bagay lang na hindi dapat tayo makontent. To ask for more of Him. To ask for His presence. To cry for more of His love. More of His power. Yun lang yung sinasabi niya na, wag kang makontento kung ano ang meron ka na. Na pag-ibig ko, nakapayapaan ko. Na pagsama ko sa'yo. Amen? The God who created the heaven and earth is not just a spirit. He is a hundred percent human. Nagkatawang tao. Kaya po siya nagkatawang tao upang maunawaan niya at maintindihan din. Ano ba ang nararanasan ng mga taong to na aking nilikha? Ano ba talaga ang kanilang pakiramdam kapag sila ay na-reject, kapag sila ay pinaratangan ng hindi naman nila ginawa. And the Lord Jesus experienced that. If you remember, people there in Jerusalem, pinaratangan siya ng napakaraming pag-aakusa. And then, ano ang kanyang ginawa na natili siyang tahimik at hindi ipinaglaban ang kanyang sarili? Maraming bagay na pwede nating ipaglaban. Pero isa lang po ang pwede natin gawin. Hindi na mahalaga sino ang tama o ang mali. Ang mahalaga, magpapasya ka na sambahin ng Diyos. Because the true worship will require true humility. It is a requirement to imitate Christ. It is, it is not just a dream or just a kind of saying. That's a requirement. Because in these last days, in these last days, sinabi ng salita ng Diyos, sarili mong pamilya, ipagkakanulo ka. Isusubong ka sa authority para italtalikuran mo si Kristo. At nangyari na yon sa mga alagad ng, ni Kristo. Sa New Testament. In our last, in these last days, I remember, yung habang ako nagpipray the last Month, sabi ng Lord sa akin, paano mong iahanda ang iglesia for my second coming? Paano kang magiging part ng paghahandang to? You know, when I heard that, I cried out to God. Te tears falls down from my eyes. And I cried to God na sabi ko, Lord, I have known nothing. I cannot prepare the church by my own idea, by my own intellect. But it is you who works. Your words, the power of your words can prepare them, can prepare us. And you know what? The love relationship with God is the very secret here in order for us to be prepared. In order for us na hindi ka matakot, matatakot na kunin ni God. Dahil yung love relationship mo kay Lord is the assurance na yes, kau ay kabilang sa kanyang kaharian. And that love relationship will fruit, will give, will bear fruit of humility, brokenness, and true worship. Amen? Your true worship always require humility. Without that, babaliwalain natin ang bagay sa mundo. Hindi natin siya masasamba sa truth na sinasabi. Jesus is the way, the truth. Yung sinasabi nito, 
He is God is a spirit. We must worship him in his spirit and in truth. Yung truth po dito, paano tayong mabubuhay? Na wangis ni Kristo. How do we imitate Christ while he is here on earth? How do we live with that harmony relationship with our loved ones? How do we live with that harmony relationship with our brethren? You know, kaninang umaga, as I teach this in Tagalog version, I don't know how to express it. That's why nag English din ako. But I want you to see this. In Tagalog or in English version, or in Ilocano, or in any dialect, itong in-explain. I want you to see this in the spiritual realm with the power of the Holy Spirit. I want you to see yourself na sasabihin mo, Lord, I want to, to, to have that commitment na sasabihin ko, Lord, ikaw lang, Lord, ang aking paglilingkuran. Ipaglalaban ko ang aking pananampalataya sa iyo. Amen? At walang sino mang makakatisod sa akin. Walang sino mang makakapigil sa akin. Yan ang kwentong kasunod na ating tutunghayan sa aking second point. Second point, the true worship is a commitment in good times and bad times. That's a commitment. That's your decision. Whether you like it or not. Whether they like it or not. You will do your very best. You will do God's wants for you. Amen? Let's read the book from the book of Daniel, chapter 3. Starting from verse 10, it says, Your majesty has issued a decree that everyone who hears the sound of a horn, flute, sitter, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music must fall down and worship the image of gold. King Nebuchadnezzar made an, Im the Im the, an image of gold. Big, 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 big statue. And then he command the people, the kingdom, to worship that image once na narinig nila yung sound of all instruments. Okay? That's the story goes. Verse 11 says here, And that whoever does not fall and worship will be thrown into a, a blazing furnace. But there are some Jews, nagsusumbong tong mga tauhan ng king, but there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Who are they? They are a government officials. They are by the name of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who pay no attention to you, your majesty. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. And Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the image of gold I have set up? Now when you hear the sound of the horn, flute, cider, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made very good, but if you do not worship it, you will be thrown immediately into the blazing furnace that what God will be able to rescue you from my hands. Who can rescue you from my hands? That's the question of King Nebuchadnezzar. And King Nebuchadnezzar is really serious about it. Okay? Sino rito nakakalam na kapag utos ng hari, walang mababali. At kung saan ang utos na ito, I know you know this story. Maaring lumaki ka na sa Sunday school. But I want you to see yung stand dito ni, ni Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. And here from verse 18 says, but even if he does not, sabi nila, if he does not, we want to know your majesty that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. And what do you think the response of this king? Do you think he will just give way to Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego? No, isn't it? 
the king is was so angry. That's why kung babasahin natin yung story na pinainit niya ng mas maraming beses yung furnace na even, even yung nag-draw dun sa tatlo okay, na soldier ay namatay. Because from afar, abot na abot yung tinatawag na init ng furnace. But this is really a miracle. Alam mo na ang sagot para sa iyo na alam mo yung story. Nakita ni King Nebuchadnezzar na may pang-apat naman. Na kung saan tinawag niya itong angel. Dito sa verse 28, ang sabi niya, Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Here we can see that it is really, really a commitment. Worship is a commitment. Whether in death or life, you will worship God. It is like a, a commitment vow do sa tinatawag na marriage. Your vow as a marriage. Mapapansin mo na kung saan in death, in life. But many people failed from that that vow. Amen? Many people, kinakain lang nila yun. At pagkatapos, nawawalan to ng kabuluhan. But I want you to see this, that worship is really a commitment. We need to commit ourselves to God. We must decide from our hearts, from our minds. This is sabihin natin, yes, Lord, I want to obey you. I want to follow you no matter what. Amen? Kahit na sa kakulangan at kahit na sa kasaganahan, I choose to worship you. I choose to love you. Worship is a love relationship with our master. Worship is a power for us to walk into humility together with Christ. Worship is the power of God inside of us na pwede nating sawayin ang gawa ng kaaway sa ating buhay. Worship is a lifestyle. That's the way you live. That's your attitude. This is my question. How do you face the difficulties in life? What is your first reaction sometimes? Sometimes, We react in anger. But I want you to see, hear from the word of God. It is the power of God inside of us if we walk in unity with Christ. If we walk in unity with our brethren. And that is part of worship. Lagi natin sinasabi, it's a lifestyle. And that's the truth of worship. Kaya sabi ganun, we must worship God in His Spirit and in truth. Amen? The truth is this. Loving God and loving people. If you love God, sabi ng Word of God, if you love God, sinasabi mong I love God, pero hindi mo matutunang mahalin ang iyong brother na nakikita mo with the literal eyes, paano mong sasabihin, Mahal mo si God. Hello. That's our love relationship. Worship is really a decision. And we need to remind ourselves every day, we need to imitate Christ in order for us to walk into truth, to worship God into truth. Amen? Now, gusto kong iwanan to. The power of worship has power to deliver us. Like from the life of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The power of worship has, has power
power in our lives to walk in victory. Amen? If you are looking for miracle, worship God while waiting. In, in good times or bad times, worship God while waiting. Enjoy His presence every day. Have a grateful heart. Amen? Invite the Holy Spirit in all parts of your house. Yesterday, the Lord uh, reminded me to pray in my house, you know, to speak the Lordship and the Kingship of Jesus Christ over, over my house. Why? The Lord reminding us, reminded me, na sinasabi niya, I am the most powerful God over your family. I was praying for the church yesterday, praying, interceding for the church. Dahil nakabalita ako ng bad news. And then sabi ko, Lord, I don't want that na mag in lang sa sarili ko nang wala akong ginawa. Okay? So, ano yung impression ni God the whole day? Sabi ng Lord sa akin, you need to intercede. You need to pray for them. You know, that's, and, and the Lord really keep on teaching me in this way every day, every month, every year. Na kapag nakarinig ako ng bad news, I need to intercede. I need to pray. I need to conquer evil. Amen? In prayer, you can claim victory again and again for your family. Kung hindi mo pa nakikita from the literal eyes, you can claim victory. You can claim the answer to your prayer. In prayer, believe. And those who believe, sila lang po yung makakareceive. And that's a challenge. Challenge for you and for me. We need to face the reality of this life with the full assurance of faith with God, with that humility attitude na sasabihin natin, I agree with you, Lord. I want to align myself with you because I want to walk in humility. Being humble is believing of what God says. Let's all stand up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for you, that you are so loving and you are great. Lord, remove any kinds of negative thoughts and negative feelings. Anything, God, that we have heard this last week or yesterday, things that, that might hinder us, Lord God, to come into your presence, things that brings loneliness in our hearts. God, forgive us. Forgive us for accepting that feelings without saying no on it in the name of Jesus. And today, God, we expose that into your light, Christ Jesus. We expose any lie, any deception from our hearts, feelings, and emotions. We expose in the name of Jesus into the light of Christ. And we speak truth over this. And right now, right here, we receive peace. We receive joy. Right now, the invitation is this. Are you be willing to enter in into the peace of the Lord? Are you be willing to stay on His feet and enjoying His presence? Are you be willing to sit with Him, to eat with Him with peace and joy? Thank you, Father in heaven. Lord, let healing overflow today. Healing of relationship, healing of hearts, healing of memory in the name of Jesus. Right here, right now, make us, and made you made us to be a worshiper of the truth. And you are the truth, Christ, Christ Jesus. Receive, receive the Holy Spirit right now. Without His power, without the Holy Spirit, we cannot walk in harmony with God. We cannot live with a life of worship. We cannot live 
with that harmony relationship to our loved ones. God heal, heal us, comfort us, show us the way to escape. In, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want you to receive healing right now. Healing from your memory, healing from hurts and bitterness. I don't know about you, but the Lord knows you. He loves you. And He knows your situations. Worship God every day by giving thanks to Him, by enjoying your freedom. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, right now we speak healing right now from any pain, from any kinds of sickness and diseases. We speak healing from any kinds of urinary infections. We speak healing from any headache, from any back pain. In Jesus' name. Those of you na nakakaranas ng sakit ngayon o maaaring may kakilala kang may sakit, can you raise your hands high? And today, speak healing right now. Speak healing in the name of Jesus. By Jesus' stripes, you are healed. And I declare the power of worship over your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, I speak peace over your life. I speak right now is strength and supernatural is strength and super that 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 kind of strong immune system is for you is strong immune system in jesus name from head to toe your brain will command your body that you are healed in jesus name you are well you are whole in the name of jesus lord i thank you for you are so so gracious and merciful your kindness always lead us into repentance forgive us Lord from every shortcomings and today Lord we forgive those who hurt us we forgive forgive us Lord from any proud act or deed in the in Jesus name you have, you have mentioned that we need to think others that higher than ourselves to have harmony and unity with you Christ Jesus and with our brethren Lord we love you we exalt you comfort us heal us pagalingin mo Panginoon ang sug sugatang puso at sa oras na ito Lord ang kalayaan ay dumaloy sa pangalan ni Jesus Lord God increase over the works of their hands I can see fruits right now in the spiritual realm. The Lord wants you to be abundant in all works of your hands in Jesus' name. Lahat ng patungan ng iyong kamay ay mapagpapala. In the name of Jesus, favor will run after you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just want to say thank you and I am so excited with that. Bless them, Lord God. Salamat, Panginoon, sa kagalingan, sa kalakasan, sa katapangang espiritual na nagmumula sa iyo, O Diyos. Ito ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you.